Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video. Today we are looking at Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Ninja White Ranger. And here in the packaging, you can see Tommy. Got this beautiful artwork as always. Promo shot at the back. And then what I wanted to show you was just all the boxes together for those that are mint in collection collectors. Just sort of what, what you're looking at on your shelf. And they do look very, very nice. So let's get this last figure out of the box so we can have a closer look at him. Okay, first up here is uh, Tommy outside of his packaging. Um, I borrowed one of my Mafex stands just so I could show you potentially a cool pose. Um, but more importantly, um, my gold door is getting whipped to the ground I wanted to show you the little foot effect and I guess how you could really you know use that to your advantage so to speak although with the effect added on it does make that stand slightly heavier than normal so let me just take that off we all know I'm not a fan of effects oh especially when they made me do that now <laughs> Let's have a closer look at the thing. So the eyes on this, due to the white kind of background, stand out a little bit better than the F ones. I still feel like they should have been slightly wider, but it's not the end of the world. Got a nice Vulcan crest there. I do love how the ninja costume looks crinkled. Because in the show they would have been fighting, they would have been rolling around, etc. He's got the black belt. Um, there is, you can see that there is white on top of this piece here. I feel like maybe they should have, it should have been a separate piece. But this top section is a whole section to itself. Now, I, I do have a gripe with this bit. This bit just, it's kind of hidden in there a little bit. Which is um, a little bit frustrating. You've got to kind of get the arms in the right places. Then you get the nice... Nice cuffs on there, which is pretty cool. And under there, I do like the fact that it does have little laces under there. That is a very cool thing for them to consider. Because they could have easily overlooked that and just painted it. And then the same down here, we got the the boots with the gold on there. The diamond shape, which is pretty awesome. Some little specks under there, if my camera decides to focus. Nothing important on the back. Uh, once again, you can see where they've uh, used a, one of those little sharp knives to pop off a bit of plastic. That is probably came on on a sheet or something. I don't know. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on a productive line. About 20 years to be exact. I love that they got the, the little laces on the back as well. Although there would be a pain to do up, wouldn't they, if, that's, if they're laces. I guess they're just meant to look brilliant. I do like how the back of this looks. It looks very, very cool. Very awesome indeed. And I'm not seeing any other paint issues. And the only thing that I would say is it does look like this white. It feels a little bit more creamy. And not as fresh as this white. Um, I'm hoping that comes up in the camera. Not sure if it is. So um, if I can just get him to stand. Come on, what are you doing? Just, it doesn't matter what pose you're in, just stay still. Okay, right. Let me bring my camera down. So, articulation. Um, the head is restricted with this. So you got the scarf. The scarf's got to come around with you if you're doing that. You can take the arm all the way around. There is a little joint under there, which you can turn around. It's it's very difficult to actually get to it, if that makes sense. And then you got this swivel here, which is awesome. Then you got this double, but you just got to be careful because these two pieces are thick and it feels quite um thin in there. And then you get the open palm hand. You want to open palm and it can swivel around. Now this bit there is a sw waist, waist swivel. You 
do the splits that much. I still feel like I have an issue with the ball joint. Um, thank you to the tuber who suggested perhaps heating up the joints that might make it a bit easier. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'll give that a go. Perhaps that will help with this this stiff joint. Um, I really do because it feels um, painful when I worry. And you're right to suggest this because I guess if it's warm, it's going to be more flexible. Whereas right now it's cold and more likely, I'm probably more likely to snap something. So um, appreciate that as well. Then you get the swivel there. You do have the double joint there. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that right now. Um, I will go, maybe I should have done it before this, heat it up with a hairdryer or something. I think it's a hairdryer you use. Um, some people do use water as well. Um, I don't feel like I would be comfortable putting my finger in some some warm water or even hot water. I'm not sure how far you go with this. I'd probably chat to some of the, the guys on the channels, on the pages, on Facebook. Yes, these guys do this stuff all the time. So the articulation is nice, and I find myself, once again, not as frustrated as I was with Blue Ranger. Um, in terms of, because I guess it's all... White, I feel like the the this different colors blend in a little bit more, but you can obviously see where this is a separate piece of this. It is obvious. Um, I, I mean, even the scarf is a different color to this, which makes no sense to me at all. But hey, um, it is a bit frustrating because this is meant to be or meant to be. Ugh, I can give him. Come on, Tommy. If I can get him, he's, he's going to fall in a sec. Um, this is meant to be a premium release. If you go back to what Hasbro were doing, or the fact that they were trying to say, hey, we're, we're piking up the prices on some of these figures now. Um, it makes me feel a little bit disappointed because I feel like with, especially Billy, some of the QC issues, this should not be this cost. Um just just my opinion there's no real extras okay you get a couple of heads which is cool and the only thing i could feel that would justify this price hike is a new mold but we get new molds with quite a quite often you know and it's just hard for me to feel like spending this money was worth it you know it's it is a lot of money now you know we're talking what, 120 quid for, I've done my maths properly, um, for, for, for four figures. That's not even a, like a Marvel Legends wave. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they've lost some money along the lines. I don't know. And they're just trying to recuperate. But anyway, they're, they're business. I guess we've got to expect these things from business. And let's be honest, everything seems to have gone up in the last year. It's absolutely bonkers. So um, let me um, bring in some of the other ninja figures, if I can. I don't drop them. Oh, man. Come on, Tommy. Stay still. Stay still. Bring in big time let down Billy. Slew there. Come on, Billy. Billy! Get to the chopper! I was going to say I'm reading Aliens really proud then, but actually, Aliens has nothing to do with um, Billy's um, death and predator, shall we say. Has gone from holding to dropping. There we go. And it looks, in fact, she looks a bit weird under there. Anyway, they there they are all with their masks on. Um, there we go. So um, let's go get them all with their ninja thing going on. When they're in mid transition, which I find a bit bizarre.
Alright, and here is Tommy and the rest of the ninjas with their masks half done. And um, I feel like if you get them into a decent pose, they look quite nice and decent together. Now, I guess my only gripe is when I tried putting this one on, um, it was a lot harder than uh, the others. Like, they hadn't finished doing the inside properly. You can... That is literally just on, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel like it's just in there solid and popped in there. But um, I feel like this head sculpt is very, very nice. I do like how it looks. Probably more than the closed one, if that makes sense. So I like it. And it's it's nice to see them all together like that. Because that just looks awesome. Mess with us. I dare you. Um... These look very nice together. Um, I'm, I'm still going to not be happy about Billy's face, but Adam's, Kimberly, and Tommy's looks a little a little bit better. It's not... I feel like they've got kind of the essence of Jason David Frank's face, but it's not... It's not perfect. It focuses. Come on. But it's okay. It will do, in, in my opinion. It will do. Um... And I feel like, once again, it's like the helmet's very rare that I'll use. I'm a bit disappointed in this, this. You can see some bleeding on the paint there, which is which is disappointing. Um, these figures have... One of them has had some sort of QC, QC problem with them anyway. Um, but uh, they look okay that I can let go. Billy's the one that's bugging me the most, and I, I feel like that's one that I will reach out to hopefully Hasbro and say, look, what on earth have you done here? This is very, very disappointing. Um, and whether they listen or not is another thing. Um, and the thing is, you got these design um, teams that design these beautiful figures, but I, I, I'm not sure how these people at the top relay right down to the bottom in, in, in the role that I do. I'm, I'm in a I'm in a senior role, etc., and um, I'm happy to talk to the people on the bottom because they're the guys doing doing the day to day stuff. That's the stuff that's important. Um, and this is comes to this: these people are doing the stuff that is actually important to us. Actually, delivering the figures, the design and stuff is fantastic, but the delivery of these figures are done by the people on the ground. And um, maybe if you're just bringing in, I don't know hundreds of attempts to deliver a project it's not it's not as efficient but once again i don't know how hasbro run run their ship in terms of those those down to earth maybe they should show us that would be great i feel like we we could get some insight into that but they they deliver so many figures throughout the year they must have a continuous um staff in these roles surely it, it would make sense right because You've got Star Wars rolling out. You got Marvel Legends rolling out. You got Power Rangers Lightning Collection rolling out. You got Transformers rolling out. You, you know there must be that communication from the top to the ground. I know that. I I believe this is done in a probably another country because it's probably cheaper, etc. But it's not the point. It's it's if you make a ridiculous amount of profit from these figures, so. They should be, I don't know, going out of their way and ensuring that QC problems like this don't reach it. It's it's disappointing that it gets to the end distributor, comics, cocktails in this case. And they have to go out of their way for us as collectors to ensure that the right heads are in each packet. You know, it's, 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 it's unheard of. I don't think I've ever seen that point before. But kudos to comics and cocktails for doing that. I really appreciate that. And, um... Yeah, it's just it's just bizarre, really. I find it bizarre. Um, anyway, um, let's move on to the final piece of this video. Hello, folks, and this is what it's all been about. Is one thing I have been probably looking forward to the most is grabbing some of my tengas and putting them against the Ninja Rangers. So we got Billy, uh, poor Billy man, he's getting busted up here. Um, nice and simple. We got some more. Eggs growing there, so some more tangles ready to come. We got Kimberly taking care of business down there. Although, watch that tango over there. This one's going back for Tommy's 
back, but Tommy is always is facing off against Goldo, looking very cool there. And then we got Adam flipping over there. So very impressive and very, very glad to have all these figures together finally. It looks fantastic. Very pleased, very happy, and very glad to have the White Ranger ninja style. So anyway, I hope you like my video. Uh, please support my channel by subscribing. Thanks to those that already do. Make sure you look after yourself. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care, folks. Goodbye. Oh.